All right, so come with me. We're at Airbag Man in Brendale. Come and meet these two legends, Benny and Jacob. I've done a lot of work with these guys in the past on the other 2012 BT50. I've fitted airbags, onboard air control, a couple of wireless digital gauges and some cool gear. Uh, I'm here today with these boys and they're going to show me around the Airbag Man factory and their sort of dispatch store and we're going to get it up on the hoist and we're going to fit another set of bags to our 26 or 2017 GT. So we're about to upgrade to a new Norwell canopy. The rig's going to get a little bit heavier so we're going to need a little bit of help now. So boys, airbags today. Yep. Thanks a lot, eh? There you go. Good to see you again. See you, yeah. mate. The last time I fitted a set of bags was on a concrete floor in an old dairy down in Victoria. So I'm pretty keen to get in here yeah, and chuck it up on the hoist. It's going to be a lot easier. So yeah, nice. come and show me around, boys. Let's we'll do it. it up. We'll go grab the kit as well. So this is the inside of the factory here at Airbag Man. Uh, the boys, old man Richard, started it over 25 years ago. So it's been a long running business and they are up and running here. This place is like clockwork. It's insane in here. Look at all the stuff here. they got stock coming out of their you know what's it's everywhere and they obviously they kick out a lot too that courier's coming and going flat out so come through here quickly i'll show you there all down here is all vehicle specific brackets for different airbags and coils all all the gear you need it's, everything is built uh, specifically for that one vehicle so it's not a one size fits all everything's designed properly and uh it's going to be great for your own rig in here this is all the leaf spring kits and the coil spring kits um, over 60 a day of these go out around the country and that's just uh, normal orders, not considering all the other people they supply like ARB and uh, all the caravan mods and that as well. So swing around here, this is my kit. BT50 and a Ranger kit, they run the same one. Look at that, if you order one of those, it comes in the post like that. It's got your airbags in it, your airline, everything you need. You can DIY install it like I did. If you want to reference this video, I'll drop up the top here. You can check out the first install, but Tell you what, today's going to be a lot easier fitting it on the hoist. So, a couple of cool things they've got throughout the factory. Uh, apart from the bulk loads of racking and stuff that makes everything easy, it's pretty impressive. But around here, they got staff of about 22 people. Is that right? Yep, that's it. And uh, young fella here, Steve, he's custom right. making a heap of panels. So these ones are for Cruise Master. If I can pick one up and give you a look. That'll run in caravans and that sort of thing. So that'll run that Cruise Master ATX and it'll be enable the user to air up, air down, see what's going on in their bags. Pretty schmick setup. And then just over here, this is all new stuff. So obviously they have bulk loads of airbags coming in uh, and every batch they get in, they grab a few, they chuck them on a test bench, air them up and just make sure they're all good. So make sure the manufacturing's been good in each batch. And uh, that way they know that the uh, quality control is gonna be spot on when you fit them to your own vehicle. So through here, workshop, this is the hoist. Thank Christ I got this today because I tell you what, I don't want to crawl around on the concrete again. It's going to be a piece of cake. Chuck it up here, take the bump stops out, throw the bags in, a bit of air hose. Hey, happy days. <laughs> Righto, the install's all done, the bags are in, the airlines are plumbed up, it's all good to go. So I'll quickly run through and recap on how the install was done. Firstly, remove that rear spare tyre, it just makes it easier to get in there and access stuff. Uh, loosen your U-bolts off, take your bump stops out, they've got to go. And if you've got an aftermarket lift kit like me, you've got to cut the angle, uh, cut the new bolts down so they fit under the new brackets for the airbag, right? So once that's done, you assemble the brackets onto your airbag, fit them in against the chassis and your leaf spring, couple of bolts top and bottom to lock them in and then all you have to do is uh, plumb your airlines in. So for me I've run a little inflation bracket at the back here to run the two valves, run the two cables or the two um, hoses down to your airbag, cable time to something along the way, keep them away from all the exhaust and all that sort of stuff and then uh, plug them into your airbag. Test them, put a bit of air in there, squirt a bit of soapy water around, make sure they're not leaking. Uh, one thing you got to make sure of when you're cutting the airline, uh, don't use a pair of scissors or side cutters or snips or something because well, apart from breaking the scissors, <laughs> and what it does is damage your airline. So if you don't have a nice sharp Stanley knife that you can use on a bench, and cut through all this, leave a nice finish. Make sure you get on the airbag man and they'll send you one of the little tube cutter tools like this. Makes it easier, just open them up, throw the tube in there, press it, hey, clean cut every time. So what you have to do though, I know with towing a van and that, you need to set up your ride height. So make sure you read the instructions in the airbag man 
uh, booklet. It'll tell you everything you need to know because there's also uh, a max air pressure for the bags as well so you don't damage them. And also a minimum ride height as well. So you need to put a bit of air in them to keep them safe. So I've so got another cool little Prezi here from the boys. Done a vid on this a while ago, so I'll drop a link in the post. You can check out the full vid and all the info. But so what it is, it's a little wireless pressure display. It's got a couple of little sensors here that you put on your inflation valve. The mark left and right. All you got to do, screw them onto there like this, and then you've got this cool little gauge here that you plug into your cigarette lighter socket in your car, and it'll tell you what pressures in each bag. It also tells you what um, what voltage is in your car battery as well. So couple of good little uses and uh, it's got an alarm on it. So if one of these bags leaks or fails and you're gonna drop pressure, this will alarm and tell you. So it's a good safety thing. Check it out in the full vid, but I love this thing, eh? Right, -o, so the next vid will be onboard air control and fully wireless. So we've got a hard mount of compressor in the new Norwell canopy. Uh, we've got a wireless valve block here instead of paddle switches. And I've got a little key fob that I can control my airbag pressures up and down with. Uh, it's gonna be unreal. And one of the cool features, brand new product coming out soon with Airbag Man, these aluminium tanks. So that is super lightweight. It's three gallons, so I'm gonna have heaps of air in there for airing up and down. And um, it's got a cool mounting system, so I can put it pretty much anywhere. Pretty stoked to be working with the Airbag Man boys again. They set us up well for Tour and Oz. They got quality gear that suits our lifestyle. So hope this helps, guys. Uh, I'm pretty stoked now to have another set in this rig. It's gonna really help me out when I load it up and put a bit extra weight on with the Norwell canopy. So. Cheers boys, thanks Benny, thanks Jacob, Airbag Man, no and Bloody Legends. Uh, if you want to see any of the other videos and installs, check them out. I'll drop the link to the YouTube channel below. Cheers, any questions, hit me up.